It's been two years since the launch of the Armed Forces Covenant and we're here today to find out how it's gone down with naval personnel and what's coming next. So joining me at the table, I have Gavin and Stuart from Naval HQ and Kim from NFF. So thank you for coming along, guys. Also here, I have the results of a questionnaire we posted on Facebook to find out what you really think of the Covenant. But before I come on to these, I want to have a quick chat with Stuart. Can you just run through some of the issues we spoke about last time on 2-6 and give me a bit of an update? Yeah, OK. Armed Forces Act 11 is working its way through the Houses of Parliament and the new tri-service policy towards alcohol and discipline uh, will be in place for April 2013. Um, but I really want to focus today on the Armed Forces Covenant and for that I brought along a colleague from Navy Command Headquarters, it's Gavin. Brilliant. So, Gavin, that leads me very smoothly across to you. So, can you just refresh us, really, a little bit for me and for guys out there that can't quite remember what the Covenant's all about? In a nutshell, what is it? OK, the Covenant exists for, for two main reasons. Uh, firstly, to ensure that serving personnel, whether that be regular or, or reserves, veterans and their families uh, suffer no disadvantage when accessing uh, public or commercial services and that, that, that's the first reason. The second reason is to identify uh, where special advantage is, is required uh, for, for those that are injured or bereaved, for example. Great. And how's it been working? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's been uh, been going going very well. We must remember that it's only been in for, for, for two years. Um, but there's some uh, fantastic uh, initiatives going on at the moment. Uh, things like uh, the Defence Discounts uh, Scheme, um, community uh, partnerships have been established across the country. There's now 200 local authorities uh, signed up to the Community Covenant as well. Fantastic. So, Kim, obviously you work very closely yep. with service personnel and their families. What kind of feedback are you getting about the Covenant from that side and as well internally? I I think at the beginning there was a bit of scepticism because it was a new government coming in with this grand new idea and I think families wondered whether it would actually deliver. Um, but in my view it, it has delivered and I think that's what families are beginning to see at the moment. It's early days, it's a work in progress, uh, but I see it as, as good news. We've got people sat around the table interested in our families and that can only be good. Mm. Brilliant. OK, right, let's get to uh, the Facebook feedback. Mm -hmm. Now, if I take a look here, in the questionnaire, 85% of people surveyed said that they think the Covenant is a positive thing. 85% is, is a really good result, I think. There are lots of things that will benefit people as they go through through their naval career. Um, there is real momentum uh, on this, and uh, there's £35 million this year has been uh, allocated to spending on Covenant uh, priorities. Yeah. So obviously, as you said, there is loads out there to take advantage of, but there are a few areas that people are finding a little bit sketchy. The first one, 43% of people still don't know what the pupil premium is. Only 4% of personnel have used the home ownership programme, which I thought was a staggeringly low figure. And 80% of people surveyed don't know what a shadow postcode is. So, Gav, in a nutshell, can you just run through those? Yeah, we'll start with the pupil premium. Um, effectively, that is uh, an additional amount of money that's given to a school for, for a, a service child uh, to support them uh, and their pastoral care. Um, in 2011, it was £200. It's £250 per pupil this year, and next year it's going to go up to £300. Um, so what I would say is uh, you know, the school can only use that uh, to, to, the, to their benefit if they actually know that they've got a service child. So make sure that you've registered your child with your school. Uh, moving on to, on, to the, uh, on to the housing, Mm -hmm. We do have an, a home ownership scheme, an equity share scheme, um, and I've had recent dealings with that. Uh, a young colleague uh, came to me and explained how easy it was to get to, to go through the process and the fact that he was able to get on the housing ladder and get a, a three-bedroom house that met his family's needs um, when perhaps he wouldn't have been able to have done that in, in, in the ordinary course of business. So, again, um, not everybody uh, is eligible, but uh, we'll give you details of, to go and have a look and see if you are. Yeah, and if you might be, you should certainly look into it. And then finally, the postcode. Uh, I remember many years ago um, not being able to, to, to get things online when, when you're on board ship or away from home. Um, so effectively, what the, Royal, uh, what the post office has done uh, is they've allocated a postcode to our BFPO numbers, and that allows our, uh, our service personnel to go, to go online and get goods and services like an, a, anybody else can. And it will also help for, for credit uh, uh, ratings as well. Um, so use the postcodes uh, to, to get you, your goods and services. It should make life easier. Yeah, well, great. Thanks for clearing that up. And of course, people can go to the website to find out more. Yeah. So, Kim, a final message from you. What would you like to say? If you don't know what the covenant is, and I sense there are quite a few people out there, go and pick a copy up 
um, have a look at it, look at it in some detail, really digest it. Um, it might not be relevant to you, but it might be relevant to the people you're working with or your family at home. And of course, if people don't use what's out there and take advantage of it, they could ultimately lose it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, it's good news, so let's let's yeah. really make it count for us whilst okay. we can. Thank you. So, Gavin? Yeah, what I would say is it isn't just for those that are on operations. Uh, mm. There's the operational welfare package, doubling of the allowance, um, council tax rebates, all of that has come about from Covenant. But there's so many other things, fantastic things going on at the moment. So go to the website and you'll be really surprised at the number of things that are going on on, on your behalf that you can benefit from. So to round us off today mm. then, Stuart, what would you like to say? Plenty of information available so that our people can see and understand what the Armed Forces Covenant is about. Take the opportunity to feed back, either direct to the subject matter expert, to the Naval Families Federation, so we understand what's good, what's bad and what needs to change, and we can make that change. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Well, that's what it's all about. I mean, I feel as though we should be wearing our I Love the Covenant T-shirts. It's been very positive today. So there is no excuse. People can contact you. They can go online. They need to, to get involved and find out what they're eligible for. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Thank you very much.